LLM is Simon Willison's library for running large language models from the command line. It's installable via pip or pipx if you want it to be available across your whole system. We can call LLM models and you can see it's got a bunch of the OpenAI models on there and the default one is GPT-40 mini. Now the first time that we use it, we would need to set a key. So we can call that OpenAI and then we'll put in our key. And then we can ask it to write us a poem about a unicorn and its pet lion. And you can see it goes off and does that. Now OpenAI is great, but what's cool about LLM is that Simon and other members of the community have created plugins that allow it to work with other LLMs as well. So for example, you could use Mistral or Gemini or Claude or Grok or Perplexity and so on. Although for me in particular, I love working with local AI. And so I was really happy to see that there's a bunch of local models that we can plug in as well. So we could do Llama CPP, Llama File, GPT for All, or my favorite, which is a Llama. So we can call LLM install LLM hyphen a Llama. And you see it very quickly gets that installed on my machine. And then if I do LLM models, you can see it's got a bunch of Alama models and underneath. Now, keep in mind that when you're using Alama, it's, you still need to have Alama running in the background. So I've got it running on a Mac, so it's kind of running as a process in the background, but you can also do Alama serve to run it, to get it started from the command line. I'm gonna change the default model to Llama 3.2. That's my new favorite local model. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the system profile information from my machine. We're gonna pipe it into the LLM tool and we're gonna pass in a system prompt saying, tell me about my operating system. And you can see it then goes off and tells me everything that's happening on my machine. Another cool thing that we can do is we can pipe in a directory listing. So I'm gonna give it the listing of all the projects for videos that I've done on this channel. I'm gonna say, let's use the Quen 2.5 model and describe the contents of the provided directory listing. And you can see it goes off and attempts to work out what is in this folder just based on the names uh, of the directories at the top level. I think this would be a pretty cool way of getting like the lay of the land on any new projects that you're working on. If we're using the same prompts over and over again, it's quite useful that we can save them as a template. So we can do that using the save flag, and then we can give it a name. So summarize duh. And then if you want to list all of your templates, you can call LLM templates. And you can see I've got one for describing code. I've got that one for directory listings, and then I've got a summarize duh one as well. Now where it goes, gets even better is that rather than having to type out all these commands and piping them each time, I think what you want to do is create yourself some uh, scripts. So I've got one called LLM tree. So let's have a look at that. So you can see at the top, we check have I provided a directory? Is it actually a valid directory? And then we get into the interesting bit. So we're gonna call tree on the directory path. We'll get the character count, and then we're gonna echo the tree output into the LLM tool using that summarized dir template. And then we're gonna pass in an extra parameter, which is increasing the context window up to the size of the tree output. So this is obviously only gonna work up to kind of the limit of what your model can handle. So this one, I think, uh, Alarma 3.2 can handle 128,000 characters. So that's gonna be pretty fine for most tree listings. We can then call it. So I've got a, a project that I must have created ages ago called Stomp Client Python. So let's call it uh, on there. And you can see it sort of goes away and tries to figure out what it thinks this project is. I can also use my other tool called LLM Explain on the main file that it identified there. So it was open data national rail client.py and it sort of goes away and tells, tells me what, what is actually going on in this file. So again, pretty useful for looking at code that you haven't looked at for a while and you're just like, I can't remember what this does. Just wanna quickly get catch myself up. What other commands do you think I should create? Let me know in the comments below. I'll put a link with all of the scripts that I used in this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.